Bye, neighbor. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Opinion Outpost. Opinion Outpost is an online survey site that allows you to make money from wherever you are. I know a lot of us are getting creative with the way that we're making money on the side, especially during these times. So this is a great way to make money from your home while you're watching Netflix by just completing some online surveys. Starting a YouTube channel is super hard. I've been very honest with why I even did it in the first place. And I kind of love finding creative ways to make money on the side. And keep hustling and Opinion Outpost is a really great way to do that. You can use the funds that you make from Opinion Outpost on your next family vacation, the holidays coming up, extra presents. So check out this super easy way to make a little extra cash and you can click the link in the description for all the info. And of course, thank you so much to Opinion Outpost for sponsoring today's video. I saw Kylie Jenner do this, so <laughs> I had to do this. This is gonna be rating my Halloween costumes throughout the years and some of Annika's. More of mine. But it's just because I've been around longer. Not by much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I feel like I take Halloween very seriously and it's just kind of a part of my brand. And oh, no. over the last, I would say probably like seven-ish years now, I have actually handmade my Halloween costumes because I just like wanted, you know, to throw a little extra spice, some flavor on them. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? So we're gonna start way back in 1992. My mother was put on this earth to be a mom. Like I have no doubts that every single one of my, she just sent me all of my like childhood costumes. So I don't even remember some of them. I know I was Mulan for like a hundred years in a row. I know that Miss Carrie crushed every single year. So I have, I have no doubts in this. Okay, this is 1992. What are you? A clown! I am going to rate this one. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. First of all, I'm so cute. Second of all, Carrie had in mind, it's gonna be cold outside, let's dress her warm. And she's a baby, let's make sure she's comfortable. I think she did a really good job at that. It could be a little bit more, like I don't know what that jungle gym hat is. <laughs> like I don't understand. Okay, this one. That one's cute. That, oh, that is so cute. This one? Honestly, I'm gonna rate this one a 10. Okay, I'm gonna rate this one a 10 out of 10. Like the face paint, the, the hat, braids, the braids, the fringes. Look the at the purse, little shoes. The purse, the I mean, flower. Carrie, you Carrie. outdid yourself. Like yeah. this is. That's a 10 out of I give it a 10 out of 10. It's so good. But now in 2020, let's just respect people's cultures and maybe not use them as costumes. Next, this one is gonna be one of me and one of Annika. It's the same costume. I had no idea that I was ever this for Halloween. How old are you in it? I'm like, I'm a little bit older than you. I'm probably like six in this. And you're probably I'm like- 14. <laughs> no, it, when you were this for Halloween. Okay, okay. You were probably like three when you were this for Halloween. Here's me. Cutie. I'm gonna give this one a... I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. I was gonna say 7 out of 10. It's just very basic, but it's like a good go-to for if you're going classic. to a party. Classic. Yes, like... it's a very classic costume. I think this one's a little bit elevated. I'm gonna give this, what do we say, 7 out of 10? Uh -huh. I agree. And nine. then here's Annika. Was well, definitely like an eight, <laughs> 8 or 9 out of 10. What? I'd give mine an 8 out of 10. The gloves are truly spectacular and just the way my ears look like my look, I just everything look about that like my hair just everything what do i give you for that one i'm gonna give you a seven out of ten too you, i gave myself an eight yeah you were really cute okay next what do you think it's not that cute really no look at the little shoes i know but it's just not that cute i was a poodle girl i know i'm gonna, I'm gonna give this give one a four out of ten I know. I'm sorry, Mimi. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give this one 8 out of 10. The music notes on the little thing, the little hair scarf, the little sweet smile out of me is just unmatched. The poodle on the skirt. I also remember I kept all of my costumes, dance costumes, Halloween costumes, under my bed in a basket, and I played dress up all the time, and I would go to this poodle skirt all the time. 8 out of 10. Easily. This costume was my go-to, I'm not kidding you, for probably five years in a row. So Mulan. It was Mulan, and I, I was Mulan literally five years in a row. I think by the last two years, my mom let me be like the actor 
Action Mulan, but I was classic Mulan. The hair, the hair. The makeup. I'm gonna give that one an, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 too, just because I know how near and dear it was to my heart. Next, this is the last one of my childhood, and then we get into like college, or high school and college. Okay. The shoes. Baddie. The shoes. Baddie. Okay, the the outfit's getting better, but the face is getting worse. Oh, no, you just wait. Wait, wait to rate this till I show you this face. Are you ready? <laughs> That's your mom. You did this for what? Why? But why? What was the reason? So I also want to Do take a quick a moment. Do you have two teeth? Mm hmm I also want to take a quick moment to thank my mom for getting me braces. What do we write that one? Until the teeth. I'm gonna give it a five. I don't know. She was real confident. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Okay, I'm gonna give a six out of ten here because she was feeling herself. Now we're moving on to high school. Annika's first Halloween. She was like only like three months old, and so she was a pumpkin, like a little pumpkin onesie, and I was a football Do you player. Have it? I don't know where the. Okay, this next one. This was in Annika was probably about two. Get out of here. I can honestly tell you I've never seen it one like that. It, it, it's, it's one of a kind. It's one of a kind. So she was a pink poodle. I think I dressed like 50s or something. I tried to always kind of match her throughout the year. So I was like a little 50s girl and we just crushed it. Yeah, that was so cute. So I give this one a 10 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. Because the, the dots could have been better. The dots could have been better. You probably wouldn't the have still. The hair could have been better. I mean, what, what did I have to work with? So... Next, Annika was four here. Three. Four. She was definitely four here. She was obsessed with Toy Story and Jesse. So <gasps> the tights. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this dance. This <laughs> the belt. I used a piece of cow fabric as her belt. The hat. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I would also say nine out of ten because we put our own twist on Jesse. This was my freshman year of college, so I didn't have a ton of money and I was like I'm gonna use what I have we're gonna make this girl Jessie the freaking cowgirl and we're gonna crush it and that's exactly what we did okay let's jump back really quick to my high school this was probably my sophomore year I think and let's just say we didn't dress too risque back then it was pretty found upon actually so I really really was the talk of the town with this costume you really said Daisy the Day. hills. The, the hills. hills match the shirt. I see that. And I already had a baby by this yeah, point, so people that's were the like, girl, that, "That's the girl with the baby." Yeah, that's the, that's the girl with the baby. You were the small town girl that everyone said not to be like. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell well, me I'm wrong. Look at me now. That one I'm gonna give an 11 out of 10 because you really put yourself out there. I really put myself out there. I crushed it. I was not the Jessica Simpson give, Daisy Duke. I was the original. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 just because it looks kind of basic. Oh, you know what? I want to give it 11 out of 10. I really do because she did something here. But when I saw this picture, I'm gonna have to dock off two points for this picture, for the editing on this picture alone. So it's now a 9 out of 10. Moving on to my freshman year of college. This is the costume I would say I'm most disappointed in. I would actually, yeah, I would actually say I hate this uh, costume. You, you took those lines directly from Kylie Jenner. No, I would say that's not. You took those lines directly. Play the clip. I actually would go as far as to say that I hate it. No, I was thinking in my head, she said I would actually go as far as to say I hate this. And I was like, okay, don't say that. That's exactly what you said. Okay, I would actually go as far as to say. No, you can't say that. When you say it, you're gonna say that line. Uh, what are you? Snooky from Jersey Shore. Snooky. It was a cultural reset. What? You don't know who Snooky is? I remember you having that dress Look from Jersey Shore. Snooky. So I was Snooky. You know, Jersey Shore was very popular, so it was. A lot of people aren't gonna know what Snooky. Yes. Okay, well, we'll do a quick Google search because if you don't know what Snooki is, that's just like a moment in pop culture that will go down in the book. So, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 0 because I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I think maybe I'll bump down to a 0 too. She just... She, it, it wasn't Halloween. It's just not great. Let's go back to Annika for a second. So this is my sophomore year of college with Annika. Oh my god. 
iconic. Literally the best costume I've ever had and will ever have. The pose. The pose. You, you crushed it with the pose. The eyes. My mom found this woman that made like little tutus. And she made like orange ones with jack-o'-lantern face for pumpkins. And then this white tutu with ghosts. So it was like strapless. Had little bows that tied. This I one I am going to give a 10 out of 10 as well. 10 because out it's, 10, 10 it's a ghost. Soup, you would think everyone's a ghost. No, this, this is, is spooky next ghost. level. This That's is spooky. spooky. This was from Annika's Halloween dance recital. So good. Oh, I hated that one. Really? Oh, I hate that one. So we, I got this little boy's tux from like Goodwill or something. I remember it taking it outside and like rubbing it against the concrete. I mean, you really stuck in the character there though. I bet it took us 45 days to brush your hair out. I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10. I really like this. Give it a 3 out of 10. I really like this one. But I also do remember like standing on stage performing this dance. I wish I didn't quit dance. That's my life regret. Mm, I know. You're so good. This goes into my junior year of college. This is the first year that I homemade an outfit and I never looked back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is me and my best friend Kathleen, and we were pinatas. All we did was got dresses from, like, Charlotte Russe or something. We glued strips of streamers on and then just cut them. I got this little pinata stick. We got little party eyes, and... It was perfect. It was perfect. I gave that one a solid 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because we did it really, really last minute, so it could have been better. This was 2015. I hated this one. I think you look awful okay okay so here's the picture i think that the idea was there the costume execution was why was there holes in it she didn't have holes in hers yeah, she did. okay but they just didn't show me in her pictures they didn't mind this is where it get, the makeup i really just no this is when like contouring was, was bad, like bad okay first of all look at her face and look at yours contouring had just started being a thing and I, I didn't understand it quite yet obviously everything else though was pr it's pretty on point but it's just not cute okay I am gonna give this one a five out of ten because I'm give it one out of I ten. just ruined my face the next year oh my God. 2016 this comes back to Annika and I having matching costumes I don't I usually like in high school I didn't I would only take pictures of her I don't have a ton of us together personally I think this one is 11 out of 10. It is so good. So it was so uncomfortable. Hello. Annika was Paris and I was French. What did I? I was French? French. French. I had the French fries. I had the mustache. Oh, wee wee. And um, <laughs> I think this, I, I'm 11 out of 10. This is so cute. I us going together. Look at us together though. Oh, I give it a 2 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Oh, wait. I forgot one of Annika. This one's probably like, let's see. 2015-ish. I'm Honimani Granger. And, and you are pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. I'm Honimani Granger. And you are pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. Iconic. This is, so Annika wanted, like one night, I've always been obsessed with Harry Potter. Like when they came out, I was in third grade and I read every single one. I went to Walmart the night everyone was released. I camped out the movie theater, every single movie release. One night, Annika looked over at me when she was like too young and was like, can we watch Harry Potter? And I was like, no, you're too young. You're not going to watch I literally wasn't this. allowed to. I wasn't allowed to watch Harry Potter. Well, this is the thing. Not because it was not good for me to watch. Because I wouldn't understand it to be able to appreciate it. She wouldn't it. appreciate it. And that's the thing is like I knew she was just going to think it was a boring movie that was too long. And she would never want to watch it again. And I wasn't going to let that happen. Her natural hair, still to this day, we call her Monty Granger. Like she... It's the worst. We didn't have to... Mm, it's cute. The the costume was like perfectly oversized. Where it... Like that looks that's like Hermione. Hermione year one. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm giving that one a 10 out of yeah, 10. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Annika still has to do homework, but we're almost done. I just wanted to finish off the last few years. These get even better. This is from 2016, and this one, I did not think that I was gonna do anything for Halloween this year. Then last minute, my friend Sarah was like, we're going to this Halloween party. I'll be at your house in two hours. And I was like, 
what do you mean? So we went all over town and I could not find anything. We go to Forever 21. I literally pull up the pretty woman picture of Julie Roberts and I grabbed everything that was remotely similar to that look, threw this together, called it a day. And it was actually really, it turned out really cute, I think. The whole costume was like under 20 bucks. Still definitely could have been better and should have been a little bit more organized. So I'm going to say six out of 10 for this one. This is the last time that Anna and I dressed up together. So I was a Starbucks barista and she was a frappuccino. I went to Walmart and grabbed literally just nude fabric, printed out the Starbucks logo for both of us, put little like tool in the top and then like a little green straw. I just got a thing of construction paper and like taped it up for a straw. So cute, 10 out of 10. Okay, this is, this is where it really gets really gets good and I just like nailed I think these past three years. This was 2017. I saw this picture as you can see. Oh my gosh I just realized I've been all three of these for Halloween. So I love Cher. This is my all-time favorite photo of Cher. As I was looking at the picture I was just like I just feel like I could do that. I feel like I could make that into a Halloween costume. And I was looking at this picture and I was like okay let's just get a nude mesh dress. Found one on Forever 21 very easily. Then let's just get some rhinestones. Let's go to let's go to Hobby Lobby, grab some rhinestones, let's grab some boa feathers and let's get this show on the road. I wore this for our work Halloween party and uh place first place in the Halloween costume contest don't worry so when I wore it to work I actually wore a little bodycon dress underneath it then when I wore it out the next night for an actual Halloween party I wore just like a white bra with some like white um, like spanks underneath so cute this is me and my best friend Reagan she was Brittany of course we crushed it I went up 11 out of 10 next we move on to 2018 this is the inspo pick you ready okay Okay? I did kind of crush it. I will say, I feel like it could have been better. Got some white yoga pants from Amazon. Got white fabric and those little like streamers down. And then I just got this like white bralette top from Amazon and decorated it with diamonds. Had a, my little microphone. So cute. This one is not exact. I, I feel like I could have made it. Well, now that I'm looking at it. This one I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. This one's pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, then we're moving on to last year. This is the last and final. Me and Annika and Luna just had, like, we all got matching little skeleton. This wasn't, like, necessarily a costume. We all just kind of wore these on Halloween day, but I thought this was so cute and I wanted to include. We were all little skeletons. Is that not the cutest thing? Now we find out. I don't know. Cher was pretty good, but I think that this is going to win. It's my best costume of all time, truly. It was such an honor to wear this costume. Here's my inspo pick. And here's... I crushed it. I mean, I absolutely crushed it. This, I ordered a red long sleeve dress from Pretty Little Thing, and I got red tool, and I cut it into strips, and hot glued the strips onto the dress. This took like eight hours to make. I'm not kidding. I knew I wanted to be Casey last year, but I was going through different outfits. I was going to do her when she was in RuPaul's drag race then I was gonna do her Met Gala look and then finally I landed on this and I was like you know what when she went on stage in that at the Grammys I was blown away and I know that I'll feel the same about this one ye and I cannot stress this enough ha huh. I printed off different sizes different Grammys from I just found on the internet printed off the Grammys, cut them out, laminated them, and then hot glued them across the dress so when I posed I just had to do this I can't handle it also, this costume, this Instagram post got picked up by BuzzFeed and put on BuzzFeed. I say all this to say, it's so much easier than you would think to make your own costumes. And I feel like once you look at things, you can kind of simplify it, break it down into really what's underneath there. And then you have a one-of-a-kind costume. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I loved the idea. I loved when Kylie did hers. And I would have never thought to, like, go back to my childhood and do them. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new here, please be sure to just subscribe. It really helps us out. And turn the bell notification on. We will see you next time with another video.